All right, today you're going to do something that you've actually been doing uh, before. So welcome to lesson 7.3.3. Um, we're going to have you take two points, uh, two points, and you're going to find the equation of a line. If you remember right, when you found the equation of a line on Khan Academy, you've already done this. And so this is simply a review for you on how to do this. Um, so I will walk through this quickly. That's not what I want. Let's just see if I can type here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to recopy down this problem, 1452. And the next point over here is 2997. I believe that's correct. All right. Let's move this down just a little bit. So those are our two points. If you remember right, what we are trying to do is we're trying to fill in for y equals mx plus b. I don't like how that looks, so there we go. We're trying to figure out our y equals mx plus b. m, remember, is your slope, or your rise over your run, or your change in your y values over the change in your x values. The first thing we want to do when we have this kind of equation is we want to find the slope of the line. So, our first thing to do is find the rise of the line. And our rise of the line on this one is our change in our y. If you look at the numbers 52 and 97, to go from 52 to 97, what happened? Well, let's see, 97 minus 52 equals a grand total of 45. It went up 45. In fact, I might even want to put a positive. It went up 45. Might seem weird what I'm about to do right now, but it'll make sense in a moment. All right, so we're going to underline that part, part of it. Then we need to find the run. The run in this case went from 14 to 29. So we're going to do the 29 minus 14, and that equals, that went up a positive 15. In fact, I should put that positive sign in front of there. So a positive 45 over a positive 15. Well, hold on here. What can we do to 45 and 15? Can't that simplify? It sure can. not What is 45 divided by 15? If you said 3, you are correct. So my slope, or my m value, equals 3. Yay! Let's take and make that bold. Let's make it bigger. And let's make it red. Now let's go maroon. Come on, maroon. Thank you. There we go. Now, now that we have the slope, <coughs> our next step is we need to find the y-intercept, the b. Well, in order to find the b, we have to plug in all the information we know. So, normally, remember, we're trying to get into the y equals mx plus b format. That's what we're trying to get our equation to be. But we know some information. For example, if I backtrack here, we know now that our slope is 3. And to match the color correctly, I'm going to put that back in maroon. I might even make it bold for you. But that's not all the information we know. Take a look up here. You might notice from up above here that I have a x, move that up just slightly, I have an x and a y coordinate right up here. You should know that your coordinate pairs come in x, y coordinates. This one over here, same thing. This comes in 2997, comes in an x, y coordinate. I could choose either one of these. I can choose the 2997 or I can choose the 1452. It does not matter. You'll get the same result no matter what. But as I go back down to here, now, I can plug in for my x value the number 14. Oh, it turned a nice little maroon for me there. That's nice. And I can plug in for my y value the 52. You might notice anytime I plug in for variables, I always like to use parentheses. I'll get rid of them here in a moment. But I like to do that just so I keep things straight. 
as I work this equation through, 52 remains on this side. And 3 times 14 is 42 plus B. As I subtract 42 from both sides, I get 10 equals B. All right. Now that we got that, and let's lower that down a little more. Let's make that a nice little bold color. Let's make that a nice 36, just like the M was up above. And we'll give this one a nice color of a uh, light blue. There we go. There we go. So my equation now reads like this. Y equals 3X plus B. I hope that makes sense. I had told you earlier that it did not matter. Oh, my B. What kind of dork am I? B is 10. We just figured that out. So y equals 3x plus 10. Now I had told you earlier it did not matter if I used the 1452 or the 2997. We get the same result. Let's prove that for a second. Don't just believe Mr. Anderson. Let's prove it. So the 52 up here, which is my y value, would be 97. The x value would be 29. And let's see. This side remains 97. This side, let's see what that becomes. 3 times 29, if you have calculators out there, would be 87. As I subtract 87 from both sides, 97 minus 87 equals 10. Hey, funny, but I still got the b value to be a 10. So again, it does not matter which coordinate point you choose from that line, you're going to get the same result of the y equals 3x plus 10. Hopefully that makes sense to you. All right, so now that I have refreshed you on how to do that, here's what you should be able to do at this point. And here's what I'd like you to do. Here's an example problem. 3, negative 5, negative 2, 15. You're going to solve that kind of problem. You're going to do it again on number 2. Then I'm going to go back a lesson where you have been given a slope and a point, which is actually easier than this one because now you're already given the slope. You plug in your xy values and solve for b. You're going to solve this one. You're going to be given information that, a, um, that the line is perpendicular to this one. So let's see, perpendicular, you got to remember what happens to your slope on a perpendicular line. And then plug in your xy coordinates, solve for your b on that one, and get your equation of line for a perpendicular line. Oh, then I challenge you back again with this one right there. Do I have any more challenges? Nope. So that was five right there. So what you're going to do for me at home to make sure you can do this, and this will be very useful on your test as we're getting very close to test time now, is you're going to solve these five problems for me. One, two, three, four, five. So pause the video and finish up these, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Have a good night.